Hey everyone. Today we're gonna to be taking a closer look at reloading the 6.5 Creedmoor cartridge. Specifically, we're gonna be developing long range load. To do so, we're gonna to need to look in our reloading manuals and start with medium to high velocity load data, which means we're gonna be charging on the hotter side. If you're not experienced with reloading, maybe you have a nice new 6.5 Creedmoor rifle and you've been shooting some factory ammo and you're ready to step it up a notch and you want something a little more accurate, something that carries out past 1200 or 1500 yards with less drop in wind deflection, a round that's capable of hitting, say, a 30 inch target consistently at 1600 yards or even stretching the 6x Creedmoor out to its maximum range at about a mile. Maybe you've been reloading for a while. Maybe 6x Creedmoor is just something new to you and you're looking for some information on load workups. Well, if that sounds like you, then good news. I've done all that work for you. Now I'm gonna walk you through reloading your first batch of 6x Creedmoor rounds. This is gonna be a six part series, so make sure you subscribe below and follow the whole series and don't miss any updates. Okay guys, so the very first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is have a reloading book. You could pick one of these up at your reloading store or on Amazon. If you don't have one of these guys, I wouldn't even start reloading until you, you get one of these. Don't try to find data online for free or, or any of that. You're gonna to wanna to change things. You're gonna to wanna to load different charges and test all your ammo. So I highly recommend getting a reloading manual. Step one. And then after that, you're gonna to wanna to inspect all your brass. This is really important. These are all once fired. Uh, I already inspected all of these cases. I, I check them as I uh, toss them in the spin here. So uh, they're all good. You're, you're looking for cracks and uh, dents and um, anything that just looks abnormal. Once we have all of our brass, I have this little uh, box that all my brass prep tools are in here. This is all my 6.5 stuff. Each uh, case is gonna need to, you're gonna need to brush the neck out when you take each case and you put it up into your uh, your die to deprime your case. You don't want anything in, uh, in there that's gonna basically jam up your, your die and get stuck in there because then you're gonna have to basically throw away your die by a new one that case is never going to come out and that's expensive so what i do i just take take a drill chuck that brush up in there give it a couple each one a couple passes then you're going to want to have a separate bin so two bins Take the stuff that you stuff that you clean, throw it in the mix, in the dumb bin. And you don't want to do that to all your brass. 